Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to move your WhatsApp chats from Android to iPhone and in the process, fix the something went wrong error message. So re recently I was carrying out this task and every time I got the something went wrong and unknown error occurred message and apart from that, the process always tend to stop at 40%. It's It started importing chat. But after 40%, it just got stuck there and it got this error message. I tapped on retry a couple of times across a couple of days, but I again got the same error message. So if you are also on the same boat, then in this video, I'll show you various methods to fix this issue once and for all. So let's get started. First and foremost, make sure that you are currently on this error message screen. Once you are on the screen, what you have to do is you have to do a force restart for doing a force restart from that screen press and release the volume up key then press and release the volume down key now press and hold the side key or the power key until you see the apple logo once you see the apple logo release the side key and wait for your phone to boot up once your phone boot up relaunch the whatsapp and then retry the process i have seen this method work for many users across the apple forum so just do a force restart using this method while you are on the error screen and then once your phone boot up, once again launch WhatsApp on your iPhone and then retry the process and this time you should fix the issue. But if it's still going on, then your next course of action is to turn off the iCloud sync for WhatsApp. In that case, this is happening because it could happen due to the fact that your WhatsApp chats and media backup might be more than 5 GB but on the other hand as you might be aware that iPhone only gives us 5 GB of free iCloud space so in such case the WhatsApp data is unable to be saved in the iCloud drive so what you could do is simply turn off the WhatsApp toggle under the apps using iCloud and with this the WhatsApp data will not be saved to iCloud instead it will be saved locally on your phone so go to the apps using iCloud section and from there try to turn off the toggle next to WhatsApp and then check if it's work for you or not. So do that and once you have turned off the toggle next to WhatsApp, you will once again have to launch the WhatsApp app and then try importing the chat and see if it's work for you or not. If it's still not working, then you will have to move to the next method. The fix 3 and fix 4 are combined. Before moving that, I could also recommend you to try out the Fix 5. In this, you could upgrade to the iCloud Plus while it requires you to shell out some bucks in case of India. I guess it's Rs 75 per month. But by expanding the iCloud storage, you will give enough space to the WhatsApp to accommodate all the data and the chats on your iCloud. So you may expand the iCloud storage and then retry the process since this time around you have more than 5 gb of free space the whatsapp chats and data might be able to be imported on your iphone without any issues but even upon doing an upgrade you are still having this issue then your last course of action is to use the transfer to ios app but this time around make sure that you are using the 2.4 gz wi-fi if you have both the 2.4 and the 5 gz then you will have to be on the 2.4 GHz across both the phones that is across both the Android and the iPhone. So this is the last course of action. If none of the other fix worked for you, then you have no choice but to opt for this method. I have listed this method at the end because it requires your phone to undergo a reset. So if that's well and good, then please take a backup of all the data on your iPhone. And once you have done so, then let's get started with the process. So to carry out this reset, you will have to go to the settings menu. From the settings menu, you have to go to general, scroll to the bottom, then tap on transfer or reset iPhone and tap on reset or rather go back and tap on erase all content and setting. And then you will have to select continue and do note that this will remove all the data that you have on your phone as well. For instance, as you could see, I currently have over 95 GB of data. It will all be removed from this iPhone. So make sure that you have taken a backup beforehand. Once you have done so, 
simply tap on continue and erase iPhone. It will now ask for the passcode. So type in your passcode and it will now upload the data to iCloud. And if you want to skip the backup, simply you may tap on skip backup. But I will recommend you to make sure to upload all the data to iCloud just to be on a safer side. So let's just wait for a few more seconds for the data to be uploaded and then we will move ahead with the next step. My case, the data was way too much to back up. So just let me tap on erase anyway. And as you could see, my phone is currently undergoing a reset. Once you have entered your password, you will have to tap on the turn off option, which is there at the top right. This will turn off find my location for the iPhone and then your iPhone will undergo a reset and the process will take up to a couple of minutes at the very max. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we will be back. So guys, my phone has now undergone a reset. So once you have done a reset, your next course of action is to proceed ahead with the next step. So let's now move ahead and select the language, then choose the country and it will set the language accordingly. So let's wait for a few seconds and then we'll move ahead with the next step. And it's the appearance so well and good. It's now looking for nearby device. Let's skip that. And now uh, let's continue. It's asking for a Wi-Fi password. So let me do that as well. And then I'll resume. As I have told you before, make sure that your iPhone as well as your Android phone are on the same Wi-Fi network. And it's recommended to be on the 2.4 GHz. While that will take some time longer to restore the backup. But I have seen many reports wherein that tends to work. So moving on, now tap on continue and set up for myself. Face ID, let me set up later. So let's now make a passcode. Give me just a minute. So now after setting up the passcode, you will come to the screen from here. Go to your Android phone now and go to your Play Store and install the move to iOS app. Then launch the app on your Android phone. Tap on agree, then hit the continue button. Again, tap on agree and then tap on automatically send or don't send in the location permission required. Tap on continue, then choose while using the app. Again, tap on continue for notification and tap on allow. Then you will have to find your code. So on your iPhone, select from Android. Then tap on continue and you will now get a code on your iPhone. So now go back to your Android phone and in the app, tap on continue and type in the same code on your Android phone, which you have got on your iPhone. Once that is done, it will make a connection and then you should get a list of backup. And as you could see, you have got all the backup. So over here, I am enabling the toggle next to, as you could see, we have quite a lot of option, but as of now, I only want WhatsApp. Then you will have to tap on start. You will be taken to WhatsApp. So tap on the start button and it will now Take a backup of the chats for it to be transferred on your phone, on your iPhone and on your iPhone, you will get a waiting for message. So the process usually takes up to a couple of minutes, depending on the number of chats as well as the file size. In the meantime, it's highly recommended that you don't interact with your Android phone or the iPhone. Simply leave both of them in the same stage and let's wait for the process to carry on. And after that, we could move ahead with the next step. So guys, the process is just about to get complete. It's done 98%. Let's just wait for a few more seconds. And then you will get an almost done message on your Android phone. So tap on next. And apart from that, as you could see in case of WhatsApp is showing as currently 6.2 GB file have to be transferred. Apart from that, if you want to transfer any other files, then you could enable the toggle next to that as well. So in my case, I want the messages Apart from that, contacts as well. Then calendar is completely optional while our main focus are on the WhatsApp. But if you want, you may enable the toggle next to all the other apps as well. Then let's choose the photo library as well. Or photo library will take some time. So let's skip that. Then we have display settings, accessibility settings. And the main one is the WhatsApp. So you may enable the toggle or disable them as per your convenience. As of now, I have left the 
some option but the major is the whatsapp so once you have enabled the toggle next to whatsapp now tap on continue and as you could see the process has now started and the process will take up some time it will show you the time as well but don't go by the if simulated time it's more often than not the wrong time the process could take up to a couple of hours in my case the whatsapp was around 6.2 gb i guess so it could take up to 30 minutes or 40 minutes so let's just wait for the process to complete and then we'll be back so guys as you could see the transfer is now complete and on the app on your android phone you will get the transfer complete message and you will get a welcome screen on your iphone so you could tap on the done message on the android phone and let's now proceed ahead on the iphone so you will have to type in your passcode so let's do that and proceed ahead and as you could see the data transfer is now complete so tap on continue and you will now have to sign in with your apple id so let me do that it will take only a couple of seconds you will now have to agree to the terms and condition and it will then sign into your account this might take a couple of seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and then we will move ahead and now it will ask you to do a customization if you want you may carry out apps and data from your android phone or if you don't want then you may do so later on as well so it's completely optional so let's proceed ahead and th this is Siri I will set up later on so let me skip that as well then tap on continue and with this we are inside the iOS and some of the apps are now being installed as of now you will see the WhatsApp icon but WhatsApp is not yet installed on your phone so you will have to tap on the WhatsApp icon and then tap on view in app store and you will now have to install WhatsApp from here so let's set up and download the whatsapp from here so it will take only a few seconds so let's wait for it to be installed and then we could move ahead now tap on open and the app is now open so now it's tap on agree and continue and you will have to tap in your phone number so let me do that and then i'll be back once that is done you will get a confirmation as well so again tap on yes and it will now send a code to your phone you will get a code so as of now it's asking me to use my other phone to confirm moving whatsapp to this phone but in my other phone that is the android phone i could no longer access whatsapp because i have already been logged out and all the data has been transferred to my iphone so this method will not work so what you could do is tap on need help getting a code and then you could choose for the send sms option or you could select the call me option so i'll wait for a minute and then use the sms option and then check out the result so guys you could now tap on send sms and this will now send a code to your phone and we should now receive a code and sms as you could see we have got a new code so the code is 9618999 9618999 and it will now validate the code it will take up to a few seconds and now i will have to type in my 2fa for whatsapp so let me do that as well it will now verify the pin or 2fa and you will now get this screen and this is where the major issue usually happens so let's tap on start and again tap on start it will ask for a few permission so tap on allow full access and it will now start doing the import so let's see what happens this time around if the issue has to happen then it will happen at the 40 percent mark otherwise you will not get any issues as such so let's see what happens this time around and then we will verify the result so it could take up to a few seconds for the progress to start in the meantime please don't interact with your android phone or will as well as the iphone and as you might have noticed okay so we are again getting the something went wrong error message so let's do one thing let's wait for one more time and then let's do a force restart as i have told you in the beginning so let's now once again carry out all these fixes the first fix was to do a force restart from within the whatsapp itself so in this you will have to press and hold the volume up key let me show you that as well so since you have got the error message so press and hold the volume up key then press and hold the 
सॉरी प्रेस एंड रिलीज द वॉल्यूम अप की देन प्रेस एंड रिलीज द वॉल्यूम डाउन की देन प्रेस एंड होल्ड द साइड की अंटिल यू सी द एप्पल लोगो देन रिलीज द साइड की एज वेल सो लेट्स डू डैट एज वेल एंड Keep holding the power key now. I already press and release the volume up and volume down keys. After that, press and hold the side key or the power key until you see the Apple logo. And now, let go of the power key as well. So let's see what happens this time around. Let's wait for a phone to boot up to the OS. And once that happens, we will once again launch WhatsApp and then retry the transfer process and see what happens this time around. so our phone has booted and let me now check out the result so this is whatsapp let's launch it tap on start and let's see what happens this time around so the importing has started and this is the first time i am seeing the screen so hopefully i might be able to rectify the issue this time around because i haven't seen this screen in a long time and i guess it's the first time that i'm seeing this import screen if the issue had to happen then you will straight away get stuck at 40% if it's starting importing from 2% 4% then it means that the chats are being actually transferred so you will not you should not get any issues this time around still let's not be too much optimistic as of now and let's wait for it to be to cross the 40% mark and only then we could move ahead with them and verify the process so let me wait for a few more seconds and let's wait for it to cross the 40% mark this could take only a few more seconds and then we could verify on which side of the fence are we on let's hope we are on the right side and things work out this time around so we are just about to reach that mark and i am hoping that this time the chats should be restored so let's now wait and see if we get an error message or not so we have crossed the 40% mark as you could see so hopefully we should not get any issues now and the import should now get completed successfully and now it's asking you to finish setting up the iphone using the face id and siri so let me do that tap on okay and let me tap on finish setting up and let me type in my passcode and get the job done so i have just set up my face unlock as well as siri and once that is done you could come back to whatsapp and the import process will then resume you also have the option to skip the siri process and do so later on it's completely up to you in my case i have just minimized the whatsapp and did the siri as well as the face unlock process and now the import is going on and it will take only a few more seconds and so as you could see we have got the option of chat history move to iphone now tap on next and you will have to type in your name your profile picture will automatically be picked up as you could see in my case so just hit the done button and with this it will ask you to access contacts tap on allow and we have got all the messages it will take a few seconds to load and as you could see we have all the chat messages from here so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching